hey guys in this video we will learn how to log in with google account in laravel application so let's get started with an example so i already downloaded fresh laravel application over here okay and also install laravel ui package for authentication scaffold you can see that with the bootstrap and i also run my application over here so you can see that there is a login and there is a registration okay so if you don't know how to install the bootstrap auth scaffold then i already captured a few days ago that video so you can view that one as well okay so if you go here so authentication using bootstrap file so i given the simple step and do this okay and now what we will do so when login screen there is a one button like login with google and user will click on it and they can log in with the his gmail account okay so let me go and start it so let me go here and there is a console cloud for the google developer account and you need to just go here i will add this link to the uh, my video description and if i go here you can see that there is already created project over here so we will create the new project okay so first let me go okay and i will give the project name so i will simply say laravel dev okay and click on create okay it will creating a new project that's called laravel dev okay and let's uh, wait a moment to creating the project and we will select that project okay after selecting i will go here click on it and i will simply go auth consent screen first okay and on this screen first we need to finish some steps so let's wait to loading okay now you can see that we will choose the external for now and create okay and then we need to define the app name so i will simply add like laravel dev okay for now and i will use the email address that what i am using for now okay and then at the end i will use another email so that my another email i am going to add then save and continue okay okay in the next screen we don't have to do anything so i will simply say seven next okay and then i will simply say seven next i don't have to do anything for now and go to the back to the dashboard okay now you can see that if right now we are using for testing purpose so we don't have to do anything but when you're going for a uh, production then you need to publish the app okay but for now it's fine with the simple example and then you need to click on the credential okay it's loading okay now you need to click on credential and we will create oauth client id okay so you need to choose that one okay okay now you need to choose web application over here and that's i will keep over here and authentication redirect urls like when someone will click and allow the permission then redirect back on specific url so what i will do i will simply localhost and auth and i will say google and i will simply say call back url okay so this url we will create in our system so i will simply go here and paste it okay and simply create it okay so this is must you need to add it okay and now i will copy this client id and let me go my project and env i will simply add over here okay so first of all i will say google client underscore id okay and then i will simply copy this okay and paste it okay same thing i will say google client underscore secret okay and then i will simply say copy and paste it okay and save it okay nice. same thing i will take another google client redirect okay so that url also we can copy this from here so i will copy this and paste it over here okay so i will simply say http and save it okay let me take it properly okay so that works fine okay simply save it okay now let me go here now we have already like a google client id and client secret we have okay so we next step what we need to do simple go here and first of all we will go to the laravel socialite package that already google is providing okay so what we will do simply install that package to our laravel application so let me go here and i will simply say okay and run it so it will download it laravel socialite okay so let's wait a moment okay it's downloaded now what we need to do next you can see that this is for github but same thing we need to do for google okay so i will copy this and you can see that that already written instruction how to add and where you need to add so config dot 
like config slash services dot php file so let me go here and config inside that i will say services at the end i will add this information okay so it's providing for github i will do for google okay so i will simply say google and uh, here it returns github so i will say google and just match it okay in given the name is proper i think it's already proper name given so you can see here same thing i will use not giving directly over here so what i will do env and i will simply paste the redirect url from here or like this way okay simply save it okay and now what we need to do next you can see that they already written we need to create two url okay two route so how we will do this so let me go here and what i will do i will simply make it clear and i will create controller so i will say php artisan mac controller and i will say auth slash google controller okay simply click enter okay now you can see that inside the app controller inside the auth folder there is a new controller created that's called google controller okay now we will do first one route over here so i will go here and simply say route and i will say get okay and i will simply say google sorry auth slash google okay and then i will simply say google controller column column class and then i will define the method so i will simply say redirect to google i will simply add the method name and then i will also give the name so that's a name and i will say redirect to google simply save it and now let me copy this okay and create one method over here inside the google controller so i will say method okay and now let me go here and inside that i need to use socialite first okay let me go here and yeah socialite added over here and now you can see that simply i need to just return this and you can see that it's written github but we need to use google okay simply save it and this good controller we need to use over here so i will simply say auth slash google controller simply save it okay now one controller is created now we need to create another route so that's called callback that what we already defined into the google application okay so i will say call back okay and here i will say handle google call back okay and i don't require to give the name to this okay simply save it okay and now if i go here okay inside this controller and then i will create another method and here simply what i will do simply go here that already callback url for auth so you just need to copy this okay and i will simply paste it over here okay and here i will be just write google okay and then i will simply say dd user so we can see what gmail is returning to us okay so now save it okay and our define okay now what we will do simply go here and inside the login page we need to do one thing so if i go here and auth and there is a login page so what i will do simply i will copy this div and what i will do so here i will be add one br and then i will add a tag okay inside the a tag i will define what we have redirect url we created so there is already route created over here so i will say route okay paste it and here i will use the image tag okay and you can see here i already found the google image from the developer uh, you know link so i will just put it over there for now okay later you can use any one whatever you want okay now save it okay and now let me run again the project so i will say php artisan cell okay now let me go and run our application refresh it and you can see that there is a simple button sign in with google you can add proper design also if you want so that will also work so now let me click on it sign in with google you can see that it's redirect me on gmail i will give the permission with this account so i will simply say hardik and click on continue and you can see that it's properly redirect to the auth google callback and with the name email and id with the old field okay so now what we will do inside the users table we have just em email and that's thing so what we will do next 
I will create one migration over here. So PHP artisan Mac migration and I will say create add Google underscore ID in users tab. Okay, and simply go here inside the database migration and if I go here inside that I will simply add table and string and I will say simply Google underscore ID and then I will simply say no label okay because maybe it can be empty okay so simply copy this and I will run the migration again so I will say PHP artisan migrate okay now migration is done and let me go to the model okay what i need to do over here simply paste it okay now what we will do here so we are already getting over here like user so what we will do the next i will simply run one query that's called find user and that should be user and i will say where and i will simply call google underscore id okay and then i will simply say user id okay so we are getting the id where you can see that id if it's already exist in the system then what it will be done okay simply get and find okay first okay if it's already there like uh, find user okay if is not null that means it's there okay like find user is there then what we will do over here simply auth and login find user okay and if there is no found with the google id then what we will do over here simply first create the user so i will say user create and then i will simply call name and name we will get from the user object that are coming from the gmail okay and then i will say email okay and email also coming from the user Okay, so I will say email and same thing I will say Google underscore ID okay and that's coming from user and I will say ID okay and same thing I will say password and that's I will say encrypt and I will simply say one two three four five six four now but you can send the random okay once user will create over here so I will say user okay and then i will simply do same thing login and at the end you need to redirect to the home page okay so i will simply say redirect return redirect home okay simply save it okay and now let me run so first let me use auth over here and then i will simply say model so i will use the model as well simply user simply save it okay and now let me run it again the project so i will say php artisan serve okay and now let me go here and i will say localhost okay login and let me click on login with google and then i will say gmail okay and it's redirect now you can see that there is login must be type of uh, given null given okay so that means something is wrong over here so i will simply say over here why that happens yeah so i made a mistake over here so i will just need to do this one find user simply go here again and refresh it i will simply delete it again this one okay and now let me go here and do it again login okay and i will click on the sign in with google and then you can see here okay you can see that you can redirect over here with the hardik savani that to my email address and if i go here and refresh it you can see that name email and you can see that google id is also logged in so now let me go and log out okay and click on login and same thing if i do again if i go and hardik savani and you can see that it's redirect perfectly and it's not creating duplicate record or anything so you can see that how easily you can do login with Google. And if you guys like this, if you like this video, then please subscribe my channel for watching more videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys.